Hi everyone, welcome back to Care Beyond Reach Academy's YouTube channel. Do you know what you consume? How do you know that these things are in your food? There are macromolecules that we need, three of which are carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids. macromolecules aid in our metabolic processes and ultimately our survival. We will be doing a series of experiments to identify these macromolecules. Let's begin. We are going to be doing the reducing sugar test in this experiment today. We are using banana, commercial glucose and water as our control. We go ahead and pour this glucose solution in a test tube after which we go ahead and put the banana in solution as well. Once we put the banana in solution we can then go ahead and add Benedict solution to each of the mixtures that we have. We will first add the Benedict's solution to the water, which is our control, after which we will go ahead and add the Benedict's solution to our glucose solution. Once we add it to our glucose solution, we then move to our banana mixture where we pour a few drops of the Benedict solution there as well. Once we do this, we put them in a water bath and wait for the color changes to occur. The Benedict solution is a complex mixture which contains three components sodium carbonate, which creates the alkaline environment for the reaction to occur, sodium citrate which is what will prevent the copper 2 plus ions from changing to copper plus. We also have copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate in the Benedict's mixture. So those are the three components in Benedict's solution. The reaction between Benedict's solution and reducing sugars is actually a redox reaction where the Benedict's solution acts as the oxidizing agent while the reducing sugars are reducing agents. The reduction process causes Benedict's reagent to change color due to the copper 2 plus ions being reduced to copper plus. Reducing sugars have free aldehyde or ketone functional groups. What we have with the key difference is that aldehyde groups, they only have one R group and a hydrogen, while the ketone will have two R groups. We can see that in this experiment, the commercial glucose solution changed color and the banana mixture also changed color. Our control, which was the water, did not change color. So it remained blue. So we can definitely say there was a positive test for our commercial glucose and the banana. And that is our reducing sugar test using Benedict's solution. Thanks for watching. We really hope that you understand why you get these color changes when you do these experiments. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.